it's story time and this time I want to tell you is this is one of the reasons why I'm afraid <clears throat> of dogs I've been bit by uh, dogs twice and then another time almost got bit the first time I got bit by a dog it was like I was a real young kid and I was feeding one of the relatives dog a potato chip and when it bit when it took the chip it bit the finger as well and made me bleed so after that I kind of got wow these things are dangerous you know they can hurt you years later I'm older and I was with my uh, cousin Steve and we went to uh, Kansas City he was uh, collecting metal at the time and he would take it to the salvage yard and they would crush it and you know give him money for that that's what he was doing for a side job anyway we went to a gas station and I went in to use the bathroom and I saw the dog there. The dog was at the uh, garage to protect it. Like at nighttime, the owner would leave that dog there. But anyway, I went through the normal way, the door, and went to the bathroom. And when I came out, there was people there in the doorway. So I decided to go through the garage part that was open and there was a car that they were working on and the dog was there. And so I went through there really slow and was like this, you know, backing up. And I barely brushed up against the back end of the dog with my my uh, legs, and the dog turned around and bit me. And I was bleeding. And I mean, he didn't take the skin off, thank God, but he bit it really good. You could see all the indentions of the teeth, and I was bleeding out of there. So I put my hand on the side, and it was my, the blood was dripping down my shirt and everything. And I got into the truck, and my cousin Steve said, like, Oh my God, what's wrong with you? And I said, uh, that dog, it bit me. And he started freaking out. He started feeling like it was his, his fault, which it wasn't. Um, I really don't blame any anybody because I found out later when I went to the hospital, he took me to the hospital, that at nighttime, the ki neighborhood kids and people would bang on the doors and scare this dog. And so the dog started becoming temperamental, you know. And um, anyway, they end up destroying the dog to try to you know to find out if it had rabies which it didn't and the third time <clears throat> I almost got bit by a dog it was a pit bull I was dating this woman and she had the dog trained and I mean trained and I she goes my dog is trained you know I can have it sick people if I want to and I'm going like really it acts so nice and all that and then she goes sick him and after you know petting the dog getting to know it it turned on me and it would jump up on me and I would put my hands around his throat and it was trying to bite me, barking and growling and everything. And um, I squeezed so hard because I was so scared. I was terrified. Um, anyway, it was like squeezing rock. I mean, my fingers didn't really even go in. Anyway, then she would give it a command and it would stop. She did that like uh, three times. Well, on the third time, I ran into the bathroom and shut the door so the dog couldn't get to me. But the other two times, the dog actually jumped up on me, one on the couch, one on the bed, and I was panicking, you know? So I'm, I'm afraid of pit bulls. I'm afraid of dogs in general. I just don't trust them. I think they can attack you at any time, even though I did have some dogs uh, that I raised. But I raised them as a puppy, and I felt more safer knowing the dog from birth, you know, and on. So anyway, that's my story from the past. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good one, and God bless.